from downtown Decatur. It's the Faber Files. Hello, I'm your host, Bill Faber. The Faber Files is a TV program on public access TV. The only program on local television that presents local interests and issues of our community. Tonight is part two of a two-part series from the Martin Magnum Social Justice Lecture Series. The speaker is Father Carl Cabot of St. Louis, Missouri, who lives and works at the Carl Cabot Worker House in St. Louis, where he dedicates his life and energy to the service of the poor. If you saw part one, you realize the very controversial issues raised by this very courageous Catholic priest. Whether you agree or disagree with the position of Father Cabot, you must be impressed with his sincerity and his commitment to the cause. Let's watch tonight, part two, the final presentation of Father Cabot's lecture here in Decatur, Illinois. Thanks for watching. And we could, we've reached a point, and again, at one time we had approximately, I, I don't think there's anybody in the world really knows, but we know there's a submarine sunk off the coast of Spain that has nuclear bombs on it. It's too deep to get. There was a plane landing that, you know, just about six months ago or less, there was a plane left North Dakota, it was flying to Georgia, and it went, it went uh, to Florida, and when they got to Georgia, they realized they had a nuclear bomb on the thing. So they landed in Georgia and whatever. Huh? But I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's not crazy. It's insane. One bomb uh, in Missouri in 1984, Father Paul and I, my brother Paul, and Helen Woodson and Whitefeather, a Native uh, American, went into a missile silo. Minuteman won. Ten times more powerful than the bomb we dropped on the Japanese. Approximately, what was the, can anybody tell me approximately what was the amount of people killed almost instantly and with one of the two bombs that we dropped on the Japanese in 44, 45? Anybody venture a guess or whatever? It's approximately like 100,000. Like a, now multiply 100,000. Because it's really not 250,000 diet for cancer and all that. Times 100. What do you get? 10 million people. Is that crazy? No. That's insane. Insane. 10 million people. For Minuteman 1. Well, they're all gone. Minuteman 2s, Minuteman 3s, and the MX missile. Uh, and where Father Steve Kelly and Father uh, Bill Bix, who's 83, he's older than I am, I'm, I'm older than so, so, are, are going to be on trial sometime in, in December in Washington State, in Seattle. And Sister Ann Montgomery and two other women, I forget their names now. But uh, nonviolent, public is <coughs> and again, you've got to line up in my judgment. I mean, you could. You know, there's all kinds of evils in the world. There's no doubt that sexism in the Catholic Church is rampant. Huh? I, well, it's well, very sad. Huh? And there's uh, all kinds of things, evils that need to be, I mean, segregation, before that slavery, and at one time, you know, uh, women's rights couldn't even vote. Huh? Finally got that bad, but I just go past, you know, Mother Jones's place. Uh, what is it? Vanel. Vanel, yeah. I, yeah. Uh, you know, she was a fantastic person, huh? And this, I forget what it was. I mean, I, I stopped by it once before. And, but uh, nonviolent, public, resistance to evil. Well, they said, well, when there's a million people don't pay war taxes, I won't pay. And that's what Jesus did, huh? I mean, if you're a Christian, I mean, you don't have to be Christian to, for those principles that I said to apply. Uh, you know, because people come first. Uh, they brought the woman up, uh, stone him, stone him, stone him, whatever, whatever. That's what the law said, you know. And in 1995, the international courts ruled that nuclear weapons are a crime against humanity. 
against humanity. The only uh, for you Catholics and all of the rest of you us too, but I mean, uh, Vatican II. The only condemnation of Vatican II was nuclear weapons are a crime against humanity and are to be condemned unreservedly. Okay. When uh, you Catholic uh, or whoever, what has your local bishop or priest condemned nuclear weapons? Well, I've been kind of. Asking many, oh, well, I don't remember Father or Bishop so and so saying anything. Well, you know, again, it was funny. In 1984, the uh, Kansas City Star had uh, a little bit about that big on the uh, Silo Prudent Hooks 1984, and the St. Louis Post Dispatch had half a page. Uh, Kansas City was right next to White. Air Force Base, and St. Louis was like 250 miles away, not quite. Huh? So what do you do? I mean, again, you have to, in my judgment, you know, I know there's all countless evils, sexism and racism and thisism and thatism and all kinds of isms and whatever. So you have to pick and choose. I hope and pray uh, that some people do right now, I mean, or whether it be uh, giving blankets to the homeless, on the streets, like now in St. Louis, there's a bunch going out at night, driving around in cars with blankets and whatever. And if there's somebody, if they want a blanket, or try to get them into some uh, shelter someplace. Uh, and the same thing with food and all kinds of stuff. Uh, by the way, you, somebody should raise their hand and ask a question. Ask if I have always been a nut. No. <laughs> Up till I was 40, I was pretty dumb. So if you're you young people, you've got probably, uh, my guess is maybe like about 20 more years. You don't have to be so smart. No, <laughs> I'm joking. Uh, no, if you have some questions, please feel free to ask them. Because I, not that I can give you all of the answers. We, we have more nuclear weapons than all the rest of the world combined. India has nuclear weapons. <coughs> Insane. We're insane. It's, well, if the Russians uh, get rid of their nuclear weapons, they will get rid of our. Oh, uh, there is no longer a USSR. Well, so why don't we get rid of our weapons? I'm just joking. You know? I mean, you know, I'm kind of a nutball, like I said at the start. Huh? But I mean, you, you know, you gotta, and you gotta risk. You gotta take a Father Mannion. And whatever, you know. Uh, how how can people know? Good people. Good people. Uh, unless there's some real clear statement of action. Uh, anyway, somebody, do you have any questions? <laughs> Anybody? Can, uh, I can just tell you all. Right, go ahead. Uh, if we're the only nation that I know of that ever uh, used <coughs> nuclear yeah. weapons. Uh, and, and we seem to be about the only nation that's, that's now trying to put some lid on it. And uh, our efforts seem to me to ring rather hollow because uh, what we know about them, I guess, ask the man who owns one. Uh, we know how dangerous they are, but because we've used them, uh, it's, it's regrettable that someone else who doesn't have our position isn't uh, making more of an effort to uh, get rid of Are we really making an effort? Uh, Kansas City, Missouri, the weapons plant that they had there makes, made, or makes now, 85% of the non-nuclear parts of nuclear bombs. Huh? And in two years, there's going to be a brand new plant in Kansas City. And there's going to be a brand new plant in Tennessee. 
next month. And there's going to be a brand new plant in Texas. Put your arms where your mouth is. Are we really? I mean, you know, I mean, I, I know every president, and the same thing will be true with Obama and uh, probably Bush too. I, I don't know. Uh, after they get out, they say, "Well, we should get rid of it." Well, do it when you're when you're in. I know, you know, you might get killed. Probably that's what happened to Jesus, and well, Gandhi was killed, and uh, you know, I mean, that that's probably some of the result. You know, you just, you just don't, uh, uh, you know, when they. <laughs> But then, 1984, I have to uh, put this down for just a second. Uh, when they cut down the driveway to uh, M5, the guy with the M1 was like this. Huh? He was driving out with the Jeep, he was behind the door. We were kneeling down, all of us, with our hands in the air. But how else can people? find out, figure out how, you know, what's, I mean, probably if I ask these younger people, uh, should we have nuclear weapons? Probably before I get here, probably 80 or 90 percent of would, would say yes. Why? Why do they say Because they don't know. Uh, nobody, I mean, you know, what the Vatican, what the, the Vatican Council II said, Nuclear weapons are a crime against humanity and are to be condemned unreservedly. And the World Court ruled in, 90, in 1995 that nuclear weapons are a crime. The opinion of the World Court. But you bring that up in court. Uh, objection sustained. The World Court doesn't matter. I hate to say this, but <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, we're the Rome of 2010. We're the Roman Empire. We, how many military bases in how many countries are we? Probably about 150 countries. We have an island off of Brazil. Why are we in England, in Ireland, in Spain? You can name it. Right or wrong? Why do we have a war with? Iraq, oil. Well, unfortunately, in, in my personal judgment, 